Hi students, today we will discuss an interesting topic, lines and angles. This is the basic in, uh, geometrical ideas, that means here we are discussing what is a line, line segment, angle, ray, parallel lines, intersecting lines, etc. Let us start with line segment. Line segment is uh, the shortest distance between two points. That means it has two end points and we can measure the length of the line segment. And next is line. Line means it has no end points. We can extend it on both sides. That means we can see two arrow marks on both sides. So we cannot measure it. Next is ray. Ray has one end point and the other end we cannot find out there we can extend it on one side. And next is angle. Angle means two rays having a common end point. That common end point is called the vertex and the two rays are called the arms of the angle. And we are using a protractor to measure an angle. Next we are discussing parallel lines. Parallel lines means two lines having a common distance between them or it will not meet each other. Next is intersecting lines that means two lines having a common point or it is intersecting. That intersecting point is called the intersecting point of these two lines. And if two lines are intersecting, we can find out four angles. And uh, here I mark two angles, one and three with green color. Their measures will be equal and they are called vertically opposite angles. Or angle one is same as angle three. Suppose uh, the measure of angle one is 40 degree then the measure of angle 3 also will be 40 degree. Similarly, angle 2 and angle 4 also will be equal. They are called vertically opposite angles. Next, complementary angles and supplementary angles. Complementary angles are the angles, two angles having sum, sum of these two angles is 90 degree. Here the first angle measure is 60 degree and second angle measure is 30 degree. Sum is 60 plus 30 equal to 90 degree or these two angles are said to be complementary angles or complement of 60 is 30 or complement of 30 is 60. Their sum should be 90 degree. If the sum of two angles is 90 degree, then the angles are said to be complementary angles. Next is supplementary angles. The sum of two angles is 180 degree, then they are said to be supplementary angles. Here the measure of the first angle is 60 degree and the measure of the second angle is 120 degree and their sum is 180 degree. So, these two angles are called supplementary angles or supplement of 60 is 120, supplement of 120 is 60 degree. If the sum of two angles is 180 degree, then the angles are said to be supplementary angles. Next, adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two angles having a common arm and a common vertex. Here 1 and 2 are the two angles and they have a common vertex and a common arm and the two non-common arms. They are lying on the opposite sides of the common arm. Next is linear pair. Linear pair means they are adjacent angles but the non-common arms form a straight line. 
That means it is sum of these two angles is 180 degree. We know that angle in a straight line is 180 degree. So angle 1 plus angle 2 is 180 degree. They are adjacent angles. They have a common vertex and a common arm. But the non-common arms form a straight line. Here I use blue color to show the non-common arms and it forms a straight line. And the sum of these two angles is 180 degree. Next we are going to do a question. Find x, y and z from the figure. Look at the figure. See here I drew a blue colored line. And look at the angles on the left side of that blue colored line. That means two angles we can see. And the blue line is a straight line. That means the two angles forms a linear pair or z plus 40 equal to 180 degree or z equal to 180 minus 40 equal to 140 degree. Next, look at the figure. See here two angles, they are vertically opposite angles. So their measures will be equal or y equal to 40 degree. Next, See, look at the figure. Blue colored line we can see. And angle in a straight line is 180 degree. That we know that. So, the sum of three angles forms 180 degree. X plus 40 plus 30 equal to 180 degree. Or X plus 70 equal to 180 degree. Or X equal to 110 degree. Okay. Hope you got the concept. And this type of questions are very important. So, you have to practice the same type model questions. Okay, thank you.